This video is about nitrogen and ammonia. Nitrogen is an element that is expressed by N in the atomic number 7. It has 5 electrons in the outer shell. Proton plus neutron, total 14, so 7 proton and 7 neutron. It has a diatomic gas, the triple bond, nitrogen, nitrogen, triple bond. Three electrons pairs are sharing between two nitrogen atoms. The source of nitrogen in the air. 79% almost 79% nitrogen is present in the air we collect nitrogen from air by fractional distillation source of hydrogen is petroleum uh, we collect hydrogen gas by burning of methane using steam our process zipper process is the manufacturing process of industrially manufacturing process uh, where we use nitrogen from the air and hydrogen from the petroleum this is the reversible reaction this is equilibrium dynamic chemical equilibrium this is exothermic reaction forward is exo but the backward is endo higher temperature increases the speed of reaction but the problem is that the product shifts to the left so the equilibrium will decrease so the lower temperature equilibrium will, will be higher but the speed will be lower so we don't use very high temperature so this is optimum temperature is 450 in this reaction more gaseous molecules are present in the left hand side so we need higher pressure so 200 atm pressure is needed for this reaction catalyst is here favorable for this reaction nitrogen heterogeneous gas catalyst catalyst solid iron powder as greater surface area speed will be higher so we use uh, this catalyst in this reaction ammonia gas is produced this is the colorless gas the smell is severe that is a stringent smell Aluminum of ammonia 17 is much smaller than the air, so this is less denser than the air. Ammonia soluble make ammonium hydroxide, and this alkali gas turns red litmus paper blue. We use ammonia for different purposes making fertilizer, making uh, manufacturing nitric acid, and manufacturing explosive. How we can make nitric acid from ammonia? I'm showing you in two different stages. The first one ammonia reacts with oxygen and make nitric oxide nitric oxide react with water in presence of air and make nitric acid if we add these two the equation in simple maths you get uh, ammonia mm -hmm. plus oxygen you get nitric acid plus water this is very simple process for manufacturing nitric acid i want to show you the simple calculation here we can percentage the nitrogen in here you can factorize the which fertilizer contains the highest percentage between urea and ammonium sulfate Nitrogen is a good nutrient for the soil. Another nutrient is phosphorus. Another is potassium. This is the mixture of fertilizer in PK fertilizer. The exercise for you: we can make ammonia from W and X. W is here actually a petroleum substance we use to crack hydrogen. Nitrogen is another ingredient we need, another element. So the substance X is here liquid here. Uh, by fractional distillation, we can make nitrogen. And Y is here catalyst is iron. But a few minutes ago, I told you. In the air, yeah, the nitrogen has seven, almost 79%. This can be used to make nitrate in the soil in two different ways. One that is artificial. By the Heber process, we make ammonia, ammonia to ammonium fertilizer and we make nitrate. Another one is naturally by bacterial action, we get ammonium nitrate. And the, both the nitrates are coming in the soil can be decomposed by the bacterial action and changes to nitrogen gas again. So this is the nitrogen cycle. Is you have to understand. Another problem of uh, nitrogen-related fertilizer is that it is needed for the plants, quick enhance of the growth of the plants. But the problem is that the nitrogen fertilizer are highly soluble. So the nitrates from fertilizer leach from the soil. Uh, into the streams and rivers and this is called eutrophication if you have any specific question about this topic you can write in the comment below i think you will get the correct answer if you get a little benefit from this video please subscribe this channel and share with your friends thank you for watching this video